Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to configure a static IP address on your Kali Linux machine and also how to configure your DNS uh, servers. So the first method is uh, using a graphical user interface and this is going to depend on the kind of uh, desktop you have. So uh, on this one, I believe it's an XFCE. Uh, it involves uh, on your top right, you'll see a gear, uh, it's like a network icon that you need to right click on and then go to edit connections and then select that wired connection. Here it's only one and then go to the settings. So in that new window that pops up, you want to go under IPv4, IPv4 settings. And then the method you want here is um, manual and not you have an option for uh, DHCP, but since we are doing a static, we want to do manual. Then under addresses here is where if you don't have one already, you, you can click add. And if you have one already that you want to edit, just highlight it and uh, just type whatever, whatever new IP addresses you want to type in there. And then you can also add the DNS servers here and then uh, go ahead and, and then you can go ahead and save that you just save it and that should save it, uh, the changes for you so the, the the second method is using the command the command line so you just open your terminal and then the actual file where the configurations are is called uh, interfaces you can quickly check to see what's configured in there So on this one, as you can see here, so the, the, the lines you're concerned with are this four right here. It's gonna tell you the the name of the uh, NIC card. Um, and then this line just makes, sets it, sets it to static IP, INET static. And then this one sets your IP address and the subnet mask, which is a slash 24. Then you have a, a default gateway here. So in order to edit it, you just use whatever your editor you have, your text editor, you'll have to open that file with that and then make the changes as needed. So the other thing, the other way to check your IP is just to use the IP address command and then going to the NIC card again and making sure that under the line that start, starts with INET, it should give you the IP address here as well. So the only the, the last thing to consider is your DNS or the, uh, your name servers. So one of the public DNS servers is uh, 8.8.8.8. And I can ping it. But I, if I try to say, if I try to ping maybe CN, cnn.com, and let's say I want to send two pings, it's, it's not able to resolve the name. So it's giving you a failure in name resolution, which is saying that there's no DNS configured. So one way to configure this is by, uh, there's a file that you can edit. The name of the file is um, resolve.conf. And uh, we can go ahead and uh, get into the file. And make, uh, right now, I don't think there's anything configured, keep configured on it. You can check using the cut command. TC resolve. And right now, as it says, there's no such file. So we'll go ahead and uh, configure the file, create the file and configure it. That's uh, resolve. So we'll put in we'll put in two NAM servers or two uh, DNS servers. One the one's gonna be the default our router, the default gateway, and the other one is gonna be the public um, DNS server. So the command is M server. 
and then I'll put the default gateway here and then I'll put the, the next one which is gonna be the public DNS server I'll go ahead and uh, save it and now we try to check that file those two name servers are in there and now if I try to ping CNN and now I'm able to ping it so if now if I go to a web browser I should be able to go to cnn.com and there you go so that's how you set up your static IP addresses on Kali Linux and also how to set up your DNS servers. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.